Welcome back. We are back now with Dr. Donna Lamb for Lamb Plastic Surgery. And we're talking about breast reduction surgery and we're wondering what the recovery is like when you're going under this procedure. Well, the typical recovery, the surgery is done as an outpatient. Seen the next day, they can shower that next day. Wow. Uh, back to desk jobs, pretty commonly in about five to seven days. And full workouts and exercise about a month. Got it. Yeah. And uh, those who are breastfeeding uh, or wanting to breastfeed after this procedure, is that yes, no, is that okay? There are techniques where you can have rates of breastfeeding approaching 80%. Okay. So that's pretty good. There are other techniques that people can breastfeed pretty well, but sometimes run out of milk after six or seven months because there's just not the volume that there used to be. Sure. So. And with this, uh, does breast reduction treat axillary axis tissue or excess breast tissue? Well, we, we actually run into people pretty commonly who have uh, sometimes, we call it uh, accessory breast tissue, but it really it's a third or sometimes fourth breast in the armpits. Wow. With, it's sometimes associated with nipples as well, sure. so yeah. we, you can treat that at the same time, okay. absolutely. And we've got another graphic. Do we mind talking about this? This, this would be for a longer breast. Sure. Sometimes the blood supply is based on the inferior. This isn't a great graphic, but the blood supply comes up the bottom of the breast. So some women who have very low nipples, mm -hmm. you can use a slightly different technique. But in the end, we're still trying to get uh, a perky breast, or I call it a happy breast, <laughs> up in position, yeah. about the right size, get the weight off the shoulders. Um, so. Good. And we talked briefly about it during the break, but this is a life-changing procedure for many women. Um, how happy are women after they have a procedure like this done? Well, the common feedback is that they wish they'd have done it years ago. And so the number one regret absolutely is they should have done it years ago, including people in their 70s and 80s. They say they should have done it 40 and 50 years ago. So it's really a very powerful operation. And life-changing as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And so if people want to get more information about how they can get this done and other procedures, what other procedures do you uh, do at your Oh, office? we do augmentation, breast augmentations as well, tummy tucks, facelifts, eyelids, liposuction. You name you know, it. You know, pretty much <laughs> you name it. So. All right. Well, and if they want to get more information, where are you located and where can they go? S South University Drive. We also have an, uh, an office in Grand Forks as well. So. Awesome. Very all good. Right. And we'll put the information up on our website and on our Facebook page. Make sure it's all up there. Very good. But anyways, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Donald. Thank you Lamb. very much for having me. And uh, coming up, we're going to get some tasty oatmeal pancakes in our bellies. <laughs>